wonderful welcome souls and spirits it's your girl sweet ms assault here and welcome to another exciting video yeah and welcome to alice in stardom so this game is actually recently new or i don't know how recent this game is but this game is free on steam so you spirituals can also check this game out and play it for yourselves so that's actually good um to be honest uh when i first came across this game it looked interesting and I was kind of curious about like the game in general. So um, <clears throat> I just, when I was reading the, like the description of this game, I was kind of thinking in my head, like, Oh, is it kind of like um the Hannah Montana thing? Cause you know, if you don't know what Hannah Montana is, it's like this, um, I think Disney or Nickelodeon TV show. And, um, it's with this actress, uh, Miley Cyrus, who plays as Miley Stewart, so... And she has, like, a secret double life and everything. And I don't know if this is like Hannah Montana, but I am actually curious to know how this story, like, you know, turns out. So, um... It might also be, like, the Doki Doki game style, I don't know. But let's just jump on into the game, shall we? Hey, you! Get those lights shining and move those stands over. We can't have the stage, Ben, in the way of the screen. Oh. <laughs> wow, we're already jumping on into this. An intern! Hey, Inti, look this way. Oh. The director can't be referring to me, right? So... Yeah, I'm talking to you. Now get your butt over here. Okay, so I guess we're kind of like the intern, not like someone with secret double life. Um, my name is Alice, not Inti. Don't tell me he somehow got that from my rather unglorified position as the production crew's intern. So, yep, pretty, so this is how we start. We are an intern. So coming! Here I am, on the set of the Supernova Singing Contest, the first project I've been involved in since graduating from a specialist art school and starting my internship at this production company. That's actually pretty good! I mean, her, like, her life is a bit better than mine, and I'm, I'm actually impressed. But also, the direct- is that the director guy? Um, his iPad has like a pineapple logo instead of the apple because of copyrights. When I say my position is unglorified, it really as it is sounds. Move this, carry that, hold the camera cable, escort a big shot over wherever. One would think showbiz is all about shiny things and outrageous gossip, but my job is nowhere close to either. That- and it hardly pays for a roof on top of my head. How long do you plan on taking, Inti? Get those heels clicking! One, two, one, two! <coughs> oh my goodness. I'm not even wearing heels. Sheesh. It's just that I can't exactly jump over all the sets in the audience area to get to the stage. Can't he just give me 30 extra- 30 seconds? Why not just a minute? I mean, like, cause where were you sitting and, like, how many seats, like, in the audience row is there? But, um, wow. <laughs> I'm just also looking at the director's face. He's just like, he just not wants to be there. Here I am. What do, what do you want exactly? I can't help but sound a little bitter as I pan out those words. The director doesn't seem to care about the jog I had to make to the stage. Seriously, how long and big is the set? He has his head turned in another direction as he orders somebody else to set up the speakers before looking back at me. So he looks back and goes, Move to the and comes back. The boss wanted a bottle of water. She's probably in the back with the contestants. Seriously, that's why I had to run from the back row seats all the way over here to fetch the producer a bottle of water that's in the room next to hers? That does she not have hands and feet? I mean what? Does she not have hands or and feet? Well, not as though Complaining would help. I'm just a little lowly intern. After all, he'd say I have nothing better to do. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... I know, working as an intern, it's tough, but I'm pretty sure she has a life. Yes, sir. I'll go do that now. Water, water, there we go. You think on a singing show, the singers would want water instead of caffeinated drinks? And here's where the producers should be. Who's this girl? Seated closest to the door is a dark-skinned girl with this cascade of perfect black hair. She's... she's gorgeous. 
Those eyes are so striking, I couldn't stop myself from staring. At least she's too preoccupied with talking to her makeup artist and hairstylist to notice. Oh, is she like those, um, sassy girls? Or popular girls? Like the mean girls? Not so much blessed, please. Oh, and maybe just a little bit of a curl in my hair. Only the bottom, though, so you know it's wavy, but not too much. Oh no, that curly one? That one would make my hair too curly. Can't you find this one smaller? My delicate hair can only handle the low heat setting, by the way, but most designer wands come with that. I feel like I'm gonna make her character a little sassy. That's what I'm probably thinking. I, I have a feeling she's probably like a mean girl, or like that type of popular girl. Are you kidding me? That's a straightener, you idiot! I want my hair curled, not flat iron. Ugh, send in the other team of stylists. They are at least might be able to help. Wow, but that attitude is my first impression of her with glass. It would have shattered into a billion pieces and now lie looted beneath my feet. Oh my goodness. The lilt and tone in her voice is priceless. Maybe there is a perk of being sent away over here just for the producer. No, no, no. You gotta color Cherry's cheeks more. Here, give me that. I'll rescue her from that vampire skin. What? Oh my goodness, she is very pale. Uh, the pale girl, one with the makeup artist just called Cherry, doesn't look too happy about being rescued, if you can even call it that. In fact, if she could run, she would probably run off to the moon. Yet she seems too shy for that, so she resorts to shrinking into a ball on the opposite side of her chair. Oh, Please don't tell me these two are contestants. Why? Over on the couch is the only other contestant in the room, a mess that is too into texting to get a stylist to work on a miracle on their look. The baggy shirt and huge rim glasses, the blonde hair that looks worse than mine after sleeping for a whole day. Are they actually a contestant? Uh, I'm pretty sure. Will somebody do something about this? Oh great, she must be the boss of this whole thing. I hear her heels actually clicking in her wake as she w makes her way over to snatch their phone away. Probably until they brush their hair. <coughs> I mean, just... I, I feel like I thought she could be the producer. I see that jerk won't answer your text. Wait, so this isn't about Blondie's hair? Adam is not usually like this. I'm worried something might have happened to him. Boss tosses the phone back to Blondie and literally rolls her eyes. And I am mighty worried my wallet is going to deflate if he doesn't show up soon. What am I going to feel his showtime with? At least that's the same. It's always about money with her. Maybe if Blondie colored their hair neon orange and sh shaved half of it off along those zigzag lines, she'd be even more pleased. If it's outrageous, viewership goes up. She's the one that makes the big bucks around here, so no one seems to question her logic. Oh, are, you, are we talking about the girl in the red coat or the one in the baggy shirt? Did somebody call me? That voice. Those sparkles. It can only be... Who? Oh! Who's this person? The host, of course. He floated out of the changing room gracefully in his usual fashion, the attire just as sparkly as always. What's even more sparkly than his jacket is by far? His name, Jacques Bellevance. He is not even French, but the thought of it sounded cool. Of course the boss thought it was unique enough to go along with it. I am so sorry if I mispronounced names, so... Just heads up, but if he's not even France, French, why why is he named Jacques Bellevance? Oh, that could be his stage name? I I mean, what? I'm kind of curious what his real name is. Oh my dear Katya, I shall defy, defend your wallet with my life. It is just filling in for a couple minutes. I can be talking about gelato and I know the audience won't change the channel. I'm sure you can blind the audience with just your flashy costume for this episode, but we can't have you filling in for the missing guy forever after. We have an elimination contest here after all. It's plastered all over the ads that our grand final showdown is at the end of the month. With the contestants short, what are we going to do? Have everybody sing the national anthem and then put on a football game? That might not actually be such a bad idea. Jacques. 
please. I'm not in a mood when I can practically feel my bills slip away into nothingness, and I can almost hear that jerk from Teabag TV laughing the rest of his butt off at my misery. Oh, wow. <laughs> Are we, like, in a... Like, is this also, like, competition with the other reality TV shows? If she's not in the mood for Jacques, the household name for entertainment, I don't know if she'd be in the mood for me and her water. Is the director pulling a prank on me or something? Even if he hates me, he can't be thinking of digging me a hole so I get fired, right? Are you the water bearer? The boss suddenly turns to me and points at the water bottle in my hands. Water bearer? So now I'm rele relegated to the humble post of water bearer? Oh my goodness. No. Um... Yes! Yes, ma'am! Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry with what happened, just, just what came out of my mouth. She takes the bottle from me and seems about to turn away until she stops and looks at me from top to bottom. You have a pretty face, don't you? Um, thank you? Jacques, who is this little girl? It shouldn't be a surprise that the producer doesn't know me, but wow, she could have asked me the question directly, right? I don't know either. A stray cat, perhaps? Now that is just cold, and I used to watch the silly children's quiz shows you hosted too. Seriously, how old is he then? I'm Alice, I'm the new intern, man. So she is a stray cat. Or kitten. Please dig me a hole and let me rest in peace. Reality is too harsh to bear. <clears throat> you think she can sing? Oh, wait, what? Um, no, I can't. I like how she says no, but then later on she'll probably reveal that she's really good or something. Don't we take interns from the Priestley School of Arts? But I wasn't enrolled in that program. Well, you were technically enrolled in a different art program. So that means she can sing. Tracy, make her presentable. Rob, tell her what to do on stage. We're going live in 30, understand? Who's grabbing my arm? Why is Tracy making me sit in this chair? Oh my goodness. Boss is already out of the door, and Jacques has his back turned, focusing on the script. Did that just... I'm pretty sure, yeah, all of this is happening. But this is how she it relates to the title or something. Wait, I can't really sing in public? You don't want me on national TV. Ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Supernova, the brand new not-so-average singing contest show hosted by your not-so-average host, Jacques Belva! Thank you, thank you, you are all so kind. I shall ensure you, our esteemed audience, the most blood-boiling, heart-wrenching viewing experience of the month as you journey with our contestants. Oh my goodness, I'm the worst host ever. Now, without further ado, let's introduce our first contestant, Mary Viswanathan! I'm sorry if I mispronounced names. The dark-skinned girl from before, I guess she's up first. Good thing too, because I can't stop shaking. How did I get roped into this? The, like, Katya just looks at you and she's like, PUT HER ON STAGE! She, of course, got every note perfect. I'd be locked in a trance by the music if I wasn't about to be pushed on the stage next. There's no way I can do that. I look like a little kid singing Mary Had a Little Lamb. If you think that's all we have to deliver, you're wrong. Let's now listen to our second contestant's self-selection, Mary Had a Little Lamb. Welcome, Raisa Cherenko! What? Who? Are you kidding me? I don't even get the comfort of singing a nursery rhyme. I'm surprised they even allow nursery rhymes on the TV show. Cherry goes on to deliver the most amazing performance of Mary Had a Little Lamb I've ever heard. Like seriously, how can she make it sound like a masterpiece? Oh gosh, and the boss is eating it up. Is that a handkerchief in her hand? Is she like crying and going, <laughs> or is she just blowing her nose like, <laughs> I don't know how to make a noise with my mouth. She's worthy of my presganka. What the heck is a presganka? Or well, how's it like pronounced? Presganka? What the heck is a presganka? Uh, I'm sorry, boss, but what is a presganka? My thoughts exactly. 
My thoughts exactly. I'm probably gonna have to Google search the, the word later to find out what the heck it means. You have much l to learn, child, if you don't know what press conca is the most delicious soup in the world. Oh. Okay. That's what it is then? So Cherry is worthy of soup. Wait, is her name Cherry? But Jack says it's rice and... No, that can't be right. Cherries and raisins? That sounds like fruit toppings on a bowl of cereal. So wait, Cherry's real name is Raisa, but she likes to be called Cherry. Oh, okay. Okay, well, Cherry sounds a lot better. And now we have a third contestant, a net musician with perfect nerdy charm. Taylor Warren, the stage is now yours. The light dims, the keyboard notes sound between gentle strums of guitar. The audience is captured, their glow sticks waving with the rhythm of the melody. Taylor's thin voice begins the main theme. There's a subtle shaking corresponding with the lyrics of how humanity is so small and fragile. But that's not to say her scene is weak. The, it's really the contrary. I may not be an expert, but I know it takes a lot of skill to sound each note with such accuracy, control the volume so precisely that each word comes clear and penetrates the audience, but doesn't overwhelm. Oh my goodness. I feel like I'm going to lose my voice at the end of this. I really can't do it, boss. I Wait, I thought... Wait, I'm so confused. Weren't we getting water for a producer or the boss? I, I'm so confused. You're in show, but... There. Biz. But I'm not trying to be in the star. Oh, silly. You enter the entertainment industry without the dream of shining on stage. Ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous. Sorry. Had to. I had, just had to put that joke in there. I don't think I can argue with the boss about this. She won't understand. You're going to delude yourself into thinking you're satisfied running errands backstage? Suit yourself. I'm not your counselor. You kind of do look like a counselor. So, uh, little, sort of. But let me tell you this, you miss this chance, you won't get another one. The world doesn't stop spinning so you can be absorbed into your self-pity. I mean, absorbed. Derp. You think you aren't good enough for this? Who gives a jerk? Who gives a wow? Sitting here thinking you aren't gonna th make you better? Go out there and just do whatever you can. Or sitting here thinking you ain't gonna make you better. Go out there and just do whatever you can. Blah. Okay. I'm... <laughs> okay. If you are... Lose? A producer somewhere might still spot your comedic talents. Not everybody can pull off an epic failure, you know? I'm trying to change some words around to make it less brutal. Um, I, I can't actually be smiling at this, right? But I am. Wow. Wow, indeed. Um, I'll try my best. Nice, Alice. That's it, my kid. Now go earn me a wad of cash. I don't honor just anybody with that opportunity any day. And now, let me introduce our last contestant, a recent graduate from the Presley School of Arts. Humble intern, working diligently on tasks big and small. She has a dream to sing here for you. Today, she'll fulfill it. Welcome, Alice Carroll. I mean, welcome, Alice Carroll. <laughs> He doesn't really, like, you know, emphasize the name. I step onto the stage. The lights are so blinding. But when I stare out into the audience below, all is dark. For a moment, it's terrifying. But as my eyes adjust to the lighting, I can see the first row of audience members. Then the second, and then more. And it just keeps piling up. They're all watching me. The teenage lovebirds, smiling seniors, parents with toddlers on their laps. For a second, I feel like I can't breathe. But as the first few notes of my song fade in, I open my mouth and I sing. Okay. Oh, the lights are bright. The music's ready. Come on, let's go. And the beat is steady. What? What? Oh, no. No one heard it, right? Um... Wait, what was I supposed to do? Oh, I'm supposed to click on the words. Durr. I'll fulfill my dreams, Jacques says. Oh my goodness, look at the art style. That looks so cool. And he was right. So was Boss. I was the only one who'd never realize. Yeah, your true potential. Who enters this industry without at least the slightest silver of hope that we'd one day capture the crowd's attention? The audience members bl below aren't the only ones watching. There are thousands, if not millions more, watching behind television screens. 
Just the thought that my voice is being projected from so many speakers nationwide is making me warm inside. I can't disappoint them. I may not have long, but with that what little screen time I may have been given, I will make it count. So this is kind of how she gets into stardom. After the show, we were herded onto a bus and shipped to a gigantic somewhere in the city. At first I thought it was a shopping center, but that's just the ground floor. The upper floors are all part of a huge private residence. Is this real silk for curtains? No, the actual question should be for this real silk beneath my feet. I could probably wear this rug as an exotic wedding dress and all my guests would be singing praises to its beauty. And the faint scent coming from the cabinet in the corner. That's the girl wood, right? It's now a threatened species, so there's no way you can require such a big piece for furniture. The cabinet must be then a legit antique. Holy muffins, this is too much. My head hurts just thinking over how many digits went into the cost of for the furnishings. Probably millions and billions, gazillions. Just a lot of money. Alright guys, here's the place you'll be staying in for the next month. Learn all you can from our teachers and prepare yourself to rock the stage. You'll be fighting for a chance to stay on next week's episode. Boss voice shakes me back to reality, like snaps you back into reality. Wait, are we going to be living here? Of course, haven't you read the contest description? Point is, you'll use the chance to learn from each other, learn from our teachers and bring the competition up a notch. <clears throat> it's all about putting on the best show for your audience. And make her the most money. Blingage. It's all about the money, money, money. Don't money. No, that's not what I should be thinking right now. That's more a more immediate problem. I have read the comp contest description and I know about this, but I'm not a real contestant, right? I should have been eliminated today, right? Why is the wait? Why is the text getting smaller? Or it's just probably me. Uh, say you read the contest description, today isn't even the elimination round. Besides, when the other contestants get eliminated, most of them will stay here for a time. It's an opportunity to further yourself and help others. Consider it as a generous offer from our production team. Wow. I'm not- uh, no, I'm sure it's because you want to stir drama between the contestants, then take it to the media as a cheap way for promoting the show. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like that's in mostly TV shows. Like, they need drama for money ratings. Do I really need to be a part of this? The question should be, do you want to be a part of this? The answer is yes. There's no other way. I, should I give her a voice? Like a... I don't know. Like, I can say no. It's either stay or quit my job. Who wouldn't pick this luxurious mansion over a homeless shelter? Oh. Wait, is Alice homeless or something? Shark shows us around the house for a tour along with the other contestants. This place is so huge, so lavish that I feel like I've been dumped into some sort of wonderland. Ah, uh, like Alice in Wonderland? Eh? You, you get that? No? Okay. This is the lounge, designer chairs, and an ultra-high definition TV. Love the surround sound systems too. Great place to relax in good company. Oh my goodness. I may be the one most at shock because this turn of events, but I see that some of the others are a little surprised too. Sure they expected the mansion, but the scale of the things probably exceeded their wildest imaginations. Like, <laughs> because they probably had stuff, but that's just a little overkill. Taylor has slowed to take in the everything, her mouth gaping a little. Only Mary seems nonchalant, walking with crossed arms and closed eyes for a dramatic effect. She's like, okay, so she, she's the sassy character. I suppose this house meets my standards. Ugh, barely. Cherry seems an awestruck as I am. If not for Taylor towing, towing her along, she'd be stuck gawking outside the door. <laughs> I just kind of picture her just going, uh. <laughs> I, I actually do picture that happening. You can farm pigs? Pigs? Really? I mean, this place is so big, I'd fit a herd of buffaloes. Sascrophia domesticus, cute to look at and delicious to eat. There's nothing more I'd like in life than to open a pig farm. Oh, I, I can see she's kind of more of like a country farmer type of girl. I don't see the logic, but I'm pretty sure she got that line from an anime. 
Sosha? Oh, Sosha, do you own the house? If I did, I already have retired. Ha ha ha. I've been living here for a while though. Perks of working for this company. So wait, who's the actual owner? The director is on the ground floor next to the shopping district, and the producer is at the penthouse overlooking the rooftop garden. Wait, I thought it would be the other way around, but okay. So this is the dining hall. A real chandelier above the dining table? Wow. Oh, of course it's a real chandelier. Are there fake chandeliers? There could be. I doubt I can find the appetite for food when I can practically taste the wasted cash that went into this room. Sure, Taylor sort of spills the mood, but I'm inclined to support her. Imagine eating instant ramen on this table long as my bedroom back home. I feel ashamed. I mean, cause you're trying, you don't want to take, like, you know, get, you'll get furnishing Taylor, just sink into the one of the chairs and you wouldn't want to get up. I, I feel like Alice just doesn't want to take too much advantage of this stuff. Anyways, the lightning makes the food look sparkly. Oh, and wine, yes. Clear and deep, but shining like rubies. Ooh, ooh la la, c'est la vie. <laughs> oh, gosh. Really? Ooh la la, c'est la vie. Please, Jacques, don't make a fool out of yourself with your half-butt front... What? Franchise. I'm so... I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm sorry. And of course, here is your training ground, fully soundproof. You can sing to your heart's content and you wouldn't startle a fly in the hallway. Not that there would be flies here, oh dear lord. Practice with your own instruments if you like, or if you're feeling ambitious, try out the ones hit new in here. Repair parts and service are also available in the shop down the hall. Everything's set for you up to your skills in no time. As you should all know, your faces and bodies are no less important than your voices. You gotta keep up your appearances when you're working in this business. Yeah, you can't just let it all go. Okay. Here's the place to keep fit, with certified instructors to aid your training every day 9 to 5. What is this thing? What is what thing? It's a skiing simulator, is it really such a big deal? Yeah, I'm curious to what the heck is, is a skiing simulator. A big deal of video C, that's what. I don't see it simulating the crisp scent of winter pine and soft powder beneath my boots. Cherry isn't listening though. While we are having this conversation, she has already coerced one of the staff members to teach her how to use the machine. This is amazing. The very peak of engineering science. You, s you said that about the lawnmower. Oh my gosh, Cherry. <laughs> I rest my face in my palms. I don't know if I'm overwhelmed by the sheer extravagance of everything or is it just my companion's absurdity. Eh, probably both. A little bit of both. For those who enjoy water sports, there are pools adjacent to this room, one of which is equipped with a wave generator. Oh my goodness! Wouldn't you just feel very spoiled when you're just staying here for a month? Pools? Why yes, do you perhaps need a baby pool? I know how to swim, thank you very much. So there are some of the features we have in this mansion. I take it too much time to walk you through all of them, so feel free to explore on your own. Oh my goodness, thank you, because you trying to give the tour and narrating a lot. Ugh, turn to my voice. Now I'm sure you're all tired after everything you've done today, let me show you your rooms. Jacques is right, I am tired, probably the most tired of everybody. After all, I'm not even supposed to be here. I guess I'll leave a text for Ma to make sure she knows I'll be leaving here for the month. Don't want her to visit my apartment only to find that I'm not even there. Oh, so she's not really homeless, but she just has a probably not a very good apartment. Should probably ask her to do me a favor of clearing out the fridge too. I don't want to go home next month to the odor of cabbage. I lie down on the oversized bed with overfluff fluffy pillows, probably filled with the finest of feathers feathers of a swan, I believe. I was about to complain how my salary can't even afford the flipping sheets, but the comfort lures me to the sleep before I can formulate the sentence in my head. I just instantly hit the pillow and then you're like... <laughs> I, I feel like that's a lot of people. They're just so exhausted and they want to complain and they try to think it in the head and the instant they hit their pillows, lights out. Ugh, I somehow couldn't sleep at all and I still slept like a log last night. I, it doesn't feel real. None of this is. 
Well, I mean, I'm I'm glad that Alice is not trying to take advantage of the spoil spoilings. Do they feel the same way? There was a bit of an awkward tension in the air. Taylor and Mary didn't look at all too happy to be here. Worse still, Cherry wasn't here yet. Usually she was pretty good at making things a little less uneasy. So, this is nice. A full breakfast, just us girls, pretty neat. Hmm, seems a little calculated to me. You don't see the cameraman off to the sides. <laughs> just like secret cameras filming your conversations and everything. They're more interested in preparing some dumb direct to video featurette. You sure you want to mention that out loud? <clears throat> I mean, cameras could be what? Uh, cameras could be everywhere, <laughs> man. Oh, they'll edit it out. Ugh, they didn't cut the crust off my French toast. Useless jits, the lot of them. Okay, they're definitely not cutting out that part. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mary, didn't anyone ever tell you that there's no cutting corners on the road to stardom? <sighs> Seriously, Taylor? It's too early in the morning for your insufferable tone. <laughs> I am sorry if your name is Mary and I'm making you fa sound very sassy. Your name, I mean. I didn't have a competent comment prepared. I feel like Taylor's smug, holier, and all that stuff. We're all still competitors. I figured your skin would be thicker after surviving all the plerent blah rounds, but I suppose not. Of course, I can't imagine a girl who didn't have to work for anything in her life would understand. Excuse me, where do you come off, you mouthy prompress? Hi, guys! Oh, thank goodness it's Cherry. Oh, good thing she had to butt in at that time. Before their catfight could escalate any further, Cherry bounced along into her seat. Being probably happy Pretty and cheerful. Ooh, pancakes! Can we get any shaped like rabbits? Ooh, I bet they have this pancake artist like those videos online. Cherry, Cherry, put your phone away. It's bad manners. Uh, but they're really cool. They make cartoon characters and stuff. I'm more curious about coffee art myself. I wonder if they make requests. I doubt the... Deuce is willing to pay out of pocket for baristas that can do that. Things cooled off between the four of us quickly. Sherry had that calming effect on people, even as Taylor and Mary kept at each other's at arm's length. <laughs> like, trying to gash at each other's throats. <laughs> I suppose the ex execs want us all to start training together and to get along more. True. Obviously, only the best for our adoring fans. We're getting to practice together! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> it looks like we're all going to be spending a lot more time together. Better fill up here. The next few days are going to be big. And very, very big. Now, where should I spend the day? Go to the makeup room, music room, or to the mall? Oh, maybe music room? Like, practice up on our singing and voice and everything? I decide to head over to the music hall. It is a little late to get personal time with the trainers, but I could probably get some solo practice in. Nice. There aren't many people here. Just custodial staff and the odd security guard. What do you mean by odd? A few of them would look at me with this weird sidelong glance and then continue to go about their business. I guess I'm not really a celebrity yet, or they're just professionals. Yeah, they're just professionals, Alice. Well, let's see, I should exercise my... huh? As I raise my hand to my throat to try and massage my vocal cords, some murmuring breaks the silence. It was coming from backstage, just a little to the right in the total silence of the big empty music hall. I could make out someone's voice. Who is it? Who's that little what's a butt? Who's cutie patootie? Yeah, I'm, I'm like, what? I'm confused. Like, who? It was a man's voice. It was speaking total nonsense. Who the heaven was he speaking to? It couldn't have been to me, right? There was barely anyone else here. My curiosity got the better of me, and I decided to go investigate. I wonder who it could be. Oh, it's the director! Oh, I miss you guys so much. Daria, get them all together, okay? I am so sorry. Holy muffins. 
It was the director, hunched over his tablet. I could see the see on the screen he was watching a live stream of a puddle of kittens. <gasps> I want to see that now. There's Jean and there's Marco and Tuna and Leia and oh, little is Tungsten. I love you guys, but Daddy needs to do his job, okay? <laughs> Oh my gosh! He calls himself Daddy to the kitchens. Oh my gosh! Who's there? Oh, poop. I tried to make a quick getaway, but my leg doesn't cooperate. It gets caught up in cables. I fall to the ground with a thud. I try to spin around to get back onto my feet quickly, but I met with the director's fuming expression. Oh goodness. WHAT ARE YOU DOING HERE?! YOU'RE NOT SUPPOSED TO BE HERE! I'm sorry, I didn't realize. I was just getting some practice, and uh... PRACTICE IN YOUR ROOM, YOU LOUSE! YOU BUFFOON! YOU ABSOLUTE DINGUS! I'm trying not to actually shout, so... Because I'm... Okay. That was my cue to get the hell out of there as quickly as my legs could. I glanced behind me to check if the enraged director is chasing me. <laughs> like Steve coming out of his ears and his face full of, like, red of fury. To my surprise and my relief, he had his back turned to me. Probably back watching the kitties. Oh no, daddy didn't mean to find you little snooky wookies. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh, why? It has been a long day. Oh, I can't breathe now. I can't breathe. Ugh. After dinner, I took a shower, brushed my teeth, and headed off to bed, but somehow I couldn't sleep. Oh my goodness. I dragged myself up to a sitting position and just stay like that, hunched over my bed for a moment. Should I turn on the lights and read for a bit? I haven't finished the paperback I've been reading on my commutes, but before coming here, uh, but if I start now, I doubt I could stop. Maybe I should do something else. I decided to take a walk. The night outside looked lovely. Oh my goodness, it looks so beautiful. I take the elevator to the roof where the garden stands. Oh my goodness. The, like the rainbow fountain. That's beautiful. At this hour, it's quite dark, but parts of the garden remain lighter with panels of lead lights. The fountain looks stunning with colors playing on the ripple, rippling water surface. I sit down on the stone by the fountain, hearing the water rise and fall. Looking upwards, I can faintly make out the stars above me. Oh. I want to see the beautiful stars. It's too bright here in the city to see the star curtains, but at the few twinkling lights in the dark, heavenly seas still look beautiful as rare gems. Oh my goodness. It's weird that I prefer, prefer, prefer this view over the view looking overlooking the rest of the city. The view overlooking? Oh my god. Was I speaking too quick and I lost the track? We're easily on one of the tallest buildings in town, but there is something more enticing about nature, especially at a time like this. What, like, it's... I mean... <laughs> While looking down at the all the houses and streets below may give a feeling of power and entitlement, looking at the endless expanse ab above is far more liberating. Oh, I really want to see this in person now. It's a little cold here by night, but the crisp, clean feeling is nothing less amazing. It makes my worries slip away one by one. Alright, I can do this. Yeah, Alice, you can do this. I need not care about how others view me. I need not care about the outcome of this challenge. I just need to try as hard as I can. Until we, like, you know, leave the competition. I'd be able to live up to myself then. Nice, Alice. Empowered with renewed confidence, I snuggled back into bed. I may like the rooftop garden, but there's nothing better than a warm bed on a cold night. Same. You just want to get, like, cuddled up like a warm teddy bear. With the weight of all my precious finally lifting away, I drift off into sleep. Anyway, spirituals, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to end the video right there. So thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Give your love and support by sharing and liking this video. And also, if you have other videos you want me to do for this channel, please let me know down in the comments below because that would be highly appreciated. And I know this part may have been like very, like really, really, really short, but I will promise you 
next the next w part will be a lot longer. Oh my goodness, I just couldn't take it anymore. I mean, I could I could do more in this part, but I just can't take it. Oh, I need to also take a breather. But if you like this game, let me know if you want me to continue this series as well. And if you have other ideas you want me to do for this channel, please let me know down in the comments below because that would be highly appreciated. And I, okay, so far I am enjoying this game and I can't wait to see how it's going to end. So it's actually interesting how Alice, she um, finished art school became an intern and you, we get to see what life is really like, you know, behind the cameras and everything. And then all of a sudden she's in front of the camera singing her heart out. So it's a little different than Hannah Montana. So she doesn't really have a double life. She just had that, you know, the life that the normal life. And then all of a sudden she gets wrapped up into this fame and all that. So yeah, but anyways, I'm going to have to go rest my voice. So much has happened in this. And I'm excited to see what's going to happen in the next. So anyways, goodbye and have a spiritual day.